focusing focusing i literally have to come this close for the camera to focus hi guys welcome back it's currently friday so we're not starting this on a monday i am finishing off a week of being at my family's cabin alone and i was originally gonna film the week here for you guys but honestly it would have been really boring it would have been so boring because all i've done is pan run walk eat work so i'm starting it today because today's like my last day of solitude and then people are kind of coming up starting this afternoon and then i am actually leaving tomorrow to go to whistler i'm like literally driving home and then up to whistler to go to crankworks which is like a bike competition like a dirt bike competition that happens not a dirt bike a mountain biking competition that happens in whistler every single year so i'm going up for the saturday night to like check it out a bunch of my friends are going i'm home sunday back to my like regular life so you guys can see what i do at home i guess i don't know we're gonna do a pilates workout then i'm going to potentially have a shower i need to film some stuff and then i'm gonna work in the sunshine so i can get tan there's this little sunspot on my deck so i'm gonna do a workout here <laughs> to brush my teeth, do my skincare, and then get dressed, and then we're gonna make some food before I head down to the water. I need to do some filming for TikTok, so I will be back when I am dressed and ready to go. I got ready, filmed, did all my filming, and I made myself a little lunch, breakfast lunch, I don't know. Two eggs, half an avocado, two like cheese smokies, I don't know, they were in the freezer, and then an orange. I am gonna eat this while I get some work done outside down at the lake now she always drinks the water out of there i don't know why so i'll have work to do but i'm gonna lay in the sun and get it done there's literally like no breeze this is gonna be me for the next two hours <laughs> obviously arrived and then we went for like a, a walk around the lake with some of the brands that got here look at it so beautiful <laughs> it's now saturday morning you're stuck to my <laughs> screen on, in my car i'm just charging the car a long day of driving ahead of me because i'm driving back to vancouver and then up to whistler today i will see you at my next stop or in vancouver just got home the drive ended up taking like five hours because i had to charge and i'm just grabbing a couple more things that i would like potentially want to wear tonight but i'm trying to my life is in shambles because everything is still in boxes packing picking up ella and chang and then we're driving up to Whistler, so. We're making good time. I just like got stuck in traffic on the way home, but we'll see you in Whistler. <laughs> Honestly, you guys, yesterday was so hectic. We literally got here and like left right away to go watch the mountain biking and then didn't really stop moving until we went out. Like we came home, had dinner, had drinks, and like I didn't really have time to sit down and like update you guys. There was a lot of people and I was just like, so I didn't film anything. But we went out to the bars and I was out pretty late, feeling a little hungover today and a little tired because I didn't really sleep long. Almost 4 p.m. I'm about to go for an eight mile run because I'm training for a marathon right now. To be honest, this is like not what I want to be doing right now, but 
it is what it is. I feel bad that I didn't film anything yesterday, but we are going to be here for dinner. We're having dinner with Ella's family. So I'm not going to film that because it's like her family. And then we're going to drive home and I'm going to go to bed because I'm freaking exhausted. Pray for me. You guys, I really fell off this weekend. Did not take another clip from my last one either. It's now Monday. I, I can't. I did, in fact, go for my run and it was so hard, so insanely hard because I was much more hungover than I anticipated. Um, so I died the entire time, but fine, we still went for the run. Went for a workout this morning. Don't know how I did that because I'm actually still so exhausted. I don't even know. And I actually feel so bad that I didn't film anything this weekend. Like, I struggle with this a lot as a content creator is like, I was having so much fun. And sometimes I think that like filming it and f feeling the need to film it. And like, if I started filming it would maybe take away from the fun and like living in the moment of it. You know what I mean? I try to like be kind to myself when I'm like, like I took the whole weekend off of social media. Like I wasn't on TikTok. I wasn't on Instagram. Like I have like maybe four pictures from this entire weekend. In my mind, I know that it means I had a really good time or it was like time that I really genuinely needed off of social media. So we're trying not to feel guilty about it, but like in for the sake of the vlog, I feel bad. This is like a very regular day now in my life. So I just looked in the fridge. We have no food, no coffee. Our coffee machine broke like two weeks ago. So there's like a grocery store and a cafe like right around the corner. So I'm just gonna hop over. I'll be back in like 10 minutes. I just got home. I got a grande vanilla sweet cream cold brew. It's really good. Some sushi. And then I got like a spicy California roll as well. Last week when I was at the cabin, I did quite a bit of online shopping. I bought a bunch of new bras. Boobs have grown again. Don't know how, don't know why. I'm a little annoyed about it. So I ordered like four new bras, three of which came last week or on Saturday and I tried them on quickly and they're still too small. So now I have to go back to the store. See, this one is looking more realistic. Maybe it's the style of the bra. This is from Le'Veon Rose. I'll let you know. I'm just gonna eat my food because I'm literally starving and have my coffee and I have so much work to do. And then I'm gonna go for a walk after work. I've literally been at my computer for the last however many hours since we last spoke, but I tried on my bra and this one fits perfectly. These are the ones that I got. I got three in this style. They're so cute. This is like the type of bra that I wear. I don't really like wearing literally anything else. But otherwise, I'm gonna keep this one. I'm gonna get changed and go for a walk. to go for a short run. I only have to do four miles this morning, so I'm so tired. I like really don't wanna run. I'm home now. I got home like right at nine, so I've just been working. I have a facial tonight at 5.45, and then I'm going to an influencer event over town. I need to do some work. It's 3.28, sitting at my desk all day. I still haven't showered, which is disgusting. I did eat earlier, I just didn't film myself. Look how many oranges I've eaten. <laughs> Had some leftovers from last night for lunch. Now I'm just gonna have a little cheese and meat because we don't have a lot of food in the house, so that's what I'm gonna have right now. I literally do this all the time. Aged cheddar salami. Whatever. I just showered. It's been a minute since I ate. Told you guys like what skincare I've been using and I've been on like the summer combination kit. The moisturizer I've been using since like the spring. I got hooked onto this cream, you guys. It's by Innisfree. It's the green tea seed hyaluronic acid cream. It's amazing. It makes your skin feel like glass and it's actually not that expensive. So I'm obsessed with it. Normally, if I'm just like going out for the day or hanging out by the beach or whatever, I've been using this sunscreen, the Super Go Everyday Lotion. It has SPF 50 in it. Um, it's really great and it's like super hydrating for your face. Today, I want a little bit of coverage because I have a lot of like spots on my face right now. I've been getting a lot of acne. This Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint and it has SPF 40 in it. So both are equally good. This one just has a little bit of 
tint in it. It's kind of like a BB cream, but a lot wider, I would say. The feature is from Revolve. It's linked on my story. This is a little like tennis skirt from 437 satchel this is from the men's section of urban my shoes are new balance 2002 r's i'm gonna grab some sunglasses and then i gotta go i just got home forgot to film when i was there because one of my friends that I know from high school ended up being my facialist. So we were literally just catching up the entire time. My skin feels amazing. She used all these machines on my face. I don't even know. They sent me home with a little goodie bag. I went to Formula Fig. And the reason I went is because Scarlett Johansson's brand called The Outset is now available there. So they invited me for a facial and sent me home with some stuff. A little headband for skincare, which is so cute. Gentle Micellar Antioxidant Cleanser. Moisturizer, daily moisturizer. Firming Vegan Prep Serum. Collagen Prep Serum. Cute. Thank you so much. That was amazing. It's like seven. I need to probably leave for my event in like 30 minutes because it's downtown and I'm on the North Shore right now and my hair has a dent in it. But I also came home to my Essence order because I ordered some stuff from the sale last week. Impressed myself. I didn't end up buying that much stuff and I could have. My original cart was big. A pair of sunglasses from Vogue Eyewear, but it's the Hailey Bieber edition. This is what they look like. Oh! Yeah, big fan of these. I'm gonna wear these tonight. Cute, okay. This is so random, but I bought a pair of Vans. Not the fact that I bought a pair of Vans. The, it's the style of shoe that is really random. I've been wanting to get a pair of these, the style. They were on sale on Essence and I was like, this is them. It's the original like slip on, navy blue. Cute, I kinda wanna try them on. Hey, don't look at my legs or it's literally disgusting, but I can't decide. I feel like my socks look funny. These are the shoes. I don't know. I can't decide if it just like looks funny with my outfit or if I don't like them. We'll think on it. I'm somehow hungover on a Wednesday. I just picked up Starbucks because I'm unwell. I was in such a rush. I was so late getting to that event. Then after the event, I was there for like an hour. And then a couple of people I was, I'm friends with who was at the event, we went for like food and drinks afterwards. So I didn't get home until 12.30. She's feeling very tired today. I leave tomorrow for a four day hike. On the list for today, I need to get together all of my hiking gear. Pick up a couple extra things from like MEC for my hike. I'm going for a run after work with my friend Emily. Do laundry, I think, but I can do that probably later tonight. Oh, I need to edit this vlog. I got a sandwich. I always get an iced chai and I got a single espresso shot. The work day is done. Literally at my desk again all day. I've just been getting together all my stuff. It looks really messy, but I've just made sure I had everything I need. Like thermal rest, pillow, cutlery, like propane. I'm not bringing all of that but i'm just taking out a bunch of stuff that i probably will need sleeping bag and then my backpack over here plan for the rest of the day is my run with emily and then afterwards i'm gonna go to mec pick up all the stuff i've also been like editing this vlog so pretty much almost done i'm just gonna like add stuff from today and then it'll be up tomorrow morning which is thursday <laughs> because it's almost 15 minutes long after editing. It's time for me to go. I hope you enjoyed. I'm gonna try to link everything down below. Let me know in the comments what other videos you guys wanna see and I will see you next time. Bye.